Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Dinkum, shall we? Day four, everybody, and I come out of the tent, which is my home, that has a mailbox that's actually more permanent of a structure than my tent itself. And it's raining, but I've got my flapper hat. So I have a mining pick shorts, a blue shirt, and the hat of a rebellious 1920s female. It's fantastic. Okay, so let's go sell stuff. Now, this is the tip that so many of you guys, and I really appreciate it, have told me. Which is that if I want to sell goods, I can simply sell a stack, and he will buy everything in that stack. I don't have to individually select the amount. That's kind of a game changer, and I appreciate it so much. So I'll show you right here. I'm going to sell 52 flowers. Um, oh, well, that's not the button you press for selling. Oh my god, John. Okay, let's see if I can push the right button. All right. Yeah, that. Sell that. Okay, so I'm going to sell my whole stack of, of that. And then uh, everything else is kind of like almost a crafting item except for the shells. So I'm going to sell all these shells and keep my food and stuff and see what happens. Yes. All right, we did it. So now... We made a ton more money, and we're rolling. I've got a thousand license permits, points, and there's all the palm trees I grew. They actually seem to sprout up really quickly, so that's sensational. All right. And now Timmy was telling me that he basically lives on cooked bush lime, which is great, but I think I want that BBQ or something better than the cooking table, maybe. Because cooking things one by one on the fire is kind of a nightmare. Uh, let's see, what can I make here? Can I make a... To make the crafting, or the cooking table, it would require tin bar and tin sheet. Um, made by cutting a tin bar on a table saw. Oh, okay, well, I can do that. I just need to get a tin bar. That's hilarious. You just chop it with the same saw that cuts wood. I didn't know that was possible, but I'm in. All right, so we need to get 10. What's up, Granny? Hello there. What can I do for you? Well, I want to apply for a license. All right, then. Uh, we should probably get metal detecting above everything else because it's amazing. Uh... I have no reason to do that, but I, I want to do it. Um, I want treasure more than anything else. And then... Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to get... We're also going to get uh, hunting so that we can get basic weapons. Okay. <laughs> a wooden bat. All right. And a spear. And a hammer. One big hammer for hitting things slowly. Very good. And then what else do we want with the, the last few points that we have? Landscaping, building, or handling. And let's just get fishing. Fantastic. All right. And we can build a tool belt. Oh, we can get a tool belt license. That's cool. All right, let's go in here. And we got this. So we get 100 for that, which is... Just fantastic. Now we need to cook two meat. We need to chat with two residents. And we need to cook something at the cooking table. We still have that daily quest. So I believe it is 100% time for us to go try to find some tin. Okay. So let's do that. Do, do, do. Oh, limes. Give me them limes. Oh, God, yeah. Let them fall in my face. All right. Okay. Now, I don't immediately see tin. But I have metal detecting. Oh, that's like emotes. Okay. And... All right. 
Wow, look how big this place is. Okay, so we're going to just look. I could just break open regular rocks and pray, which isn't the worst idea, but I'm looking for actual metal chunks, and here we go. Uh, this looks like quartz, though. I don't really want that too much. Yeah, I mean, okay, but... Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's a tin paradise. I'll take everything. There we go. Uh-huh. There's some bananas over there. We can just dig on those. Looks like a turkey. Or a dodo. Or a kiwi. I don't know what the... <laughs> what kind of a, a bird I'm dealing with here in the outback. Beautiful. Uh-huh. Wow, look how lush this area is. Fantastic. Okay, I need to head home to make the tin bar and make the tin sheet because I want the better cooking table. What's this? It's got a... Something is glowing right there. Maybe that means I need to... My metal detector is going off or something. No? Oh, God. I'm doing the worst digging you can imagine. Or does it mean that that... No, I don't know. I can't, I can't tell you what that meant. Look at how tall I'm making that. Eat your heart out. Anyway. Uh, I'm getting tired. So let's go to my inventory. We're going to have to investigate the metal detector. It might be something I have to purchase or craft. Uh, let me eat something. Two energy... Two energy, but hurts you. Three energy. All right, bush lime it. Chomp it. Sweet. All right. So, Timmy was explaining, like, if you eat enough food, you see in the upper left, there's a, a food indicator that goes by your energy bar, and if you fill that circle up, then you get like a, a kind of a food boost that gives you a regen on energy, slight regen over time. But it also means you can't eat more food. Uh, so you have to be more efficient with your food. And just eating raw uh, food like I'm doing is the basically the worst thing you can do. So let's go home and make us some better food. I want to keep getting this tin. Now, actually, you know, it would be wise if I could just... Uh, Put a map. Yeah, I'll map this out. And I'm just going to be like, this is the sweet tin area up here. All right, so we got a pin up there. So I can come back later. Much later. Am I going home now? Am I going the right way? I am. By the way, this, I'm going to get rid of this star. Uh... I don't even know how to get rid of it. That does not need to be had because... Oh, there's a bug. Oh, God. Get him. Got him. Heck yeah. Hey, buddy. I'm here for you. Aw, oh, man. Don't be doing that. Come back. It's me and my net. All right, fine. You win. All right. I do do do. Okay, so now that I have the tin, I guess I need to chat with everybody. Yeah, my my food is making those stars, so maybe. Maybe the stars just indicate something that you can pick up. Alright, let's talk. 
Hello there. What can I do for you? Let's talk about the town. Let's see. What exactly can I help you with? Can I see the deeds? Okay, here are our current deeds. The bulletin board. Um, town debt increase. Building materials required once placed. Um, town debt increase? Oh, what? I can take out a debt? A loan? Gum, wood, planks, and nails. Do I want that? I guess. Okay, so we're going to apply for the bulletin board. Oh, we're trying to just buy the bulletin board. I get it. Just so you know, this will put the town 10000 in debt. Oh, don't worry. We'll pay it off in no time. There's a donation box here in the base tent. So we're going to do for it? Yeah, let's get it. Great. We're all set. I'll get you the deed so you can decide where to place it. Once it's placed, check the deposit box on the build site. We won't be able to start construction until we have all the required materials. So the quicker we have everything we need, the quicker we can start construction. Okay, Granny. She's like, don't call me Granny. Alright. And let's see, let's talk to her. Oops. And... Hi. Um... Let's chat. Oh, what do you want to chat about? Got a job for me? Ah, actually, I have a pink cardigan dress I don't want anymore. Oh my god, she's giving me all these cool clothes. Do you want to buy it? I could let it go for this much money. Uh, no thanks. Was the price too high? Yeah, I don't really want to... Um, I don't want to be wearing all your old clothes. I already have your hat. I think that's enough. The town is currently 10000 in debt. Please consider donating. Let's donate. I'm just going to donate all of it. For now. The town is now debt free. Heck yeah. Thank you for your contribution. That just goes to Granny's pocketbook. Alright, we're going to craft. Now, can I make a metal detector? Let's see what we can make. I can make a scythe, a spear, a bat, a hammer, path, fence, fire, furnace, table, grain mill, torch. Okay. So anyway, in the meantime, let's cook some limes. And then let's go over here. And I'm going to just pick up my tin. And we're going to just put it in there. And I guess we'll just kind of feed some logs in. Oh, this made it really fast. Sawed up, everybody. Give me that. Give me the palm planks. Okay, and then... Uh, might as well get some gum planks. I had plenty of gum planks, actually. Alright, let's see about this. Let's put down this community thing. Or this. Alright, the bulletin board. I'm going to put it right there. Like, right next to Granny's tent. Yep. Is this a good place for the bulletin board? Yes. It looks fantastic. Alright, read it. Today's bulletin board. Our town has a bulletin board. Please feel free to leave any reminders, announcements, or requests here for the town to see. Okay, great. So, at least we built that. Alright, and we'll cook some meat. And we got our bar. Okay, so I'm going to use this right there. And I'm going to make some more of this. And we got the tin sheet. So we're getting really, really close, actually, to being able to build that cooking table, which I'm kind of pleased about. All right, we cooked the meat. And, oh, looks like we did something. We got hot fruit. All right, so we cooked some fruit, and we got a milestone. We're getting there, people. I'm going to go quickly while... The bar is making and some other things are happening. Uh, what is this? Billy button. Alright. Sure, billy button. Oh. Do I catch you in the bug net? I guess I do, but I'm not good at it. Alright, I caught that. Alright, I'm going to go talk to my man before he closes. And I'm going to see about this metal detector, Jazz. Maybe he doesn't sell it. Welcome to John's Goods. How can I help? I wanted to chat. Oh, what did you want to chat about? Uh, need anything? 
Ah, actually, I have a wizard hat I don't want anymore. Oh, do you want to buy it? I could let it go for 7000 No thanks, I don't have the money. Man, I want that wizard hat. All right, welcome to John's Goods. Sell goods. Show us what you got. All right, dude, I got some good stuff. You're going to be really happy about this. Nice bug, bro. Thanks. Mm hmm. Okay. And that looks good. Let's see. All up, I can offer you 3500 That's great. Thanks, buddy. All right, let me buy a fishing rod. That's a fishing rod. A rod used for fishing and the like. That'll be 1260 I'll take it. Very good. There you go. Thanks for your purchase. You're welcome for your purchase. All right. So what do you got? Entomology. All right. So we caught five. It's a bunch of different bugs. That's good. And we got um, Savvy Shopper. Nothing wrong with spending some of that hard-earned dosh. Here's a milestone for spending dinks. Sweet. And we got Equipped. You can buy a lot of useful tools to help you. Here's a milestone for buying tools. Great. All right. And chat with two residents. I thought I did chat with two residents. Did I not get the cred for that? Maybe that wasn't chatting. What's up? I worked hard to get the permit points. I needed to get my commerce license. My brother back in South City worked really hard to get me to give him some of my permit points so he could get his too. Nice. Alright. So maybe that counts as chatting. Maybe you have to say, like, what's up? Not, like, what can I do for you? Or just click chat. I'm going to go in my house and open up my little place here and inside my crate. So I believe that um, maybe if I have a hammer, I can smash this open. I can probably put these... I think that... Um, Timmy was telling me I can repair the radio tower in some fashion. I'm going to put just like wood over here. Uh, and we're just going to use the quick move button to do that. I'll just put the logs over there and the stones and the quartz crystal. Things that I don't think I'll need immediately. Some of this food. These. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so now uh, I'm going to go get my bar and I'm going to get, I'm going to go try to make the cooking table. Oh, yeah. Craft it. Heck yeah. And then that's good. That's a good place to start. This turns seeds and grains, but I would need a bunch of gears and a wheel, which I don't have. All right, fantastic. Oh, let me chat with Granny. Hi. Um, let's talk. I moved to South City. There we go. We got it. When I was a very little girl. I'll tell you what. It was hard to make friends at that age. None of the other kids had a clue what I was talking about most of the time. All right, then. Fair enough. Okay. Bulletin board. You got anything? Doesn't look like it. All right. I'm going to put this cooking table outside because I'm unhinged. And we'll just put it, like, right there. This looks fine. Yeah, sure. And now let's see what we can do here. Oh, we can make really fancy stuff. Nice. So, like, if I... Even if... What about if I wanted to make just bread? I would need a bunch of flour. So I need the... Oh, oh, ho. Mangrove stick and meat. Corn, meat, mangrove stick. Okay. Flour, egg, cheese. So this is cool, but it's not like kind of what I was praying it would be, unfortunately. Which is capable of just cooking, like, me setting a whole bunch of food and having it all cooked there while I go do stuff. Alright. So let me get my inventory. Let me put this down here. And that's okay. Alright, good. I'm full. Now what do we want? 
specifically? What are we looking for? Let's look at the um, cook something at the cooking table. We would need... Um, I don't know if there's anything I can rightly cook without... Like, this, I would need meat and a stick. This is, um... I still need meat. And this is, like, bread and sugar and flour and stuff. I don't... I can't make flour. At, unfortunately, right now. So, I would need the, uh, the grinder. So, what I guess I should do is go look for some parts. So, I could find gears and stuff. Uh, to repair... To, to build the the mill. This thing looks broken. There are parts missing. Should I place something inside? Place. All right, so it needs... Um, it needs two batteries, some circuit boards, a disc, a, a wire, and smooth slate. Okay. So actually, none of what I brought, but I do have one cylinder. All right, in the meantime, it's Arvo, and I learned... from Mr. Kiwi that Arvo is actually afternoon. Good afternoon. And that's fantastic. Beautiful. Alright, I'm trying to get everything I can here. Just poking around. These flowers always sell well. There's a termite hill. I'm looking for those barrels. I'm actually going to um, go here, and I'm going to go to my uh, spend money or sell items. Convince John to move in. So I got to do that, right? And then my, my license is I got the allow the holder to buy a metal detector. Right, but he isn't selling that right now. So I don't think my metal detecting ability will do anything until he sells that. And I probably have to have him permanently move in and make the shop or whatever before that happens. Or actually, I'm not sure what. Uh, can I swim across this? I can. Now, hopefully there's no crocodiles or anything. Alligators. Uh, ah, there we go. Actually, I don't know if, I don't know if these are gators or crocs. Mm-hmm. I'm just mapping it out, you know, just filling in my map, exploring, seeing what's out there. Man, there's a bunch of shells over here. Heck yeah. I don't care. I'll get them all. Oh, man, this is a seashell paradise. I'm going to level up my forging. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. We're about to get rich on shells. Nope. I really can't catch that. Oh, my God. That guy. He just destroyed that frog. He showed me how to get a frog. It's with terrifyingly sharp jaws. That's the secret. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. All right. I guess we can take a free log. Uh-huh. There's the croc over there. Let's get away from it. It's a worm. I caught a centipede. Oh, no, it's not a centipede. My God. Or a worm. My god, it's a centipede. Alright, where am I on the map? Where's my house? It's over here? Sure. Let's get there. 7.16pm. No problem. I need more meat. Uh, to do the daily. And I think I'm gonna have to make, like, some of these weapons... To go kill animals so I can get meat, but I really don't like the idea of that unless there are nasty animals that are trying to get me. 
I don't want to just go striking down wallabies. Dingoes, for that matter, unless they're just outright sinister. All right. Awesome. Let's see. Let's go make another tin bar. And I'm going to... While I'm here, might as well do a little chef work. Uh-huh. Wow, the bulletin board has, like, a light. That is a really nice bulletin board, Granny. All right. So let me actually... Let me look at what it takes to make some weapons while I'm here, chilling. So if I wanted to make the spear, it's a tin bar and a gum wood plank. The bat is spinifex resin, eh. and the hammer is three tin bars. Oof. So we can definitely make the spear, if nothing else, because we're about to finish this tin bar. Roo poo. Sweet fancy Moses, we're getting lots of roo poo. Everyone's happy. All right, let's see if we can find some fun stuff in here. I don't know. Not really. Not really. What if I just break this bone? Yeah, that's how you get bones. Okay. I don't even know what bones are for, but I'll take some. Scrimshaw. Maybe there's a, a really deep scrimshaw crafting section in this game that I haven't unlocked yet. Alright, let's go get that bar. So once we get ourselves this bar, we can make a spear. And we can make another bar. I'm going to go make a spear. Heck yeah. Did I make the scythe? I can't remember if I did or not. Yeah, I did. I have it on me. So the scythe allows me to like go around and just like chop the grass, right? And get seeds and stuff. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Alright, I'm gonna go into my inventory. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get nuts. I'm gonna put more tools out here. Uh-huh. And then one more tool, which would be our amazing spear. I'm gonna put that in there. Alright. And we can cook some more limes while we're waiting. And let's just check out this spear. So it does that. Okay. So let's see if we can go find something to fight. Yeah, this, this dog looks mean. Oh my god. This is going badly. Uh-oh. I didn't realize it would be like that. I can't take reinforcements. Alright, we got one. Uh-oh. Alright, that was awful. I don't want to have to do that anymore. We almost died. Did you see that? That's professional gameplay when you try to fight one dog. I don't know if another dog appeared. It was like its friend or what happened, but it was bad. All right, so what do we get? Damage sponge. I got that for taking damage. That's because we're fantastic. All right. And now we have some meat. So maybe we can make something at the cooking table. I don't think I actually have the mangrove stick, though. I would need that... Oh, I need three pieces of uncooked meat. Huh? Whoops, cooking it is ruining it. Alright, well then, never mind. One day. One day we'll get there. Alright, that was a great day. It's always great when you almost die. You know, we can sleep that off, though. We're gonna have to. Ooh, our inventory is getting really, really full. Let's go over here, and let's put some stuff in the old house. All right, I'm going to just dump that in there. Logs definitely go in there. Rupu, pile it in. Don't need this spring in that. 
the shells, all of the shells we just sell tomorrow. The bones we can put away. Um, I mean, I probably don't need planks with me, you know? I can come back and get, like, copper bars and planks and things. Awesome. Alright, well, I think that was a great day four, everybody. We uh, completed a few of our quests. We fought our first stuff. Uh, we made our cooking table. And we gathered a bunch of tin. And I'm holding a big T-bone steak for myself. So I think it's time to rest and recover. And I want to say thanks so much, everyone, for your tips. As I'm playing through the game, I really appreciate your feedback and your help. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you guys next time. Take care.